Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle14, and I'm here doing a review of Games People Play Season 1, the finale. Alright, this episode we finally realized, they finally revealed who actually really killed Kalinda. Alright, so we get a scene that the detectives couldn't find the Vanessa. They can't find her. Vanessa is up in the van somewhere, and they want to get her because they try to get her DNA. So then we jumped into the scene three months ago when we first saw Kalinda dressed up in a nice little gray one body suit. It went to the door and she said, that's it. And that's how it cut off until they flash back to the present. All right, so then we get this freaking whatever the past passer was, the passer that got exposed in the first episode by Nia. He's in there. He said he got redemption. He not doing that shit like he did before. He not doing that. He saved. He redeemed himself. He's holy. He sanctified. But he trying to get revenge. He know who did it. He, he said he know who freaking leaked the videos to him. He know what's up. And he going to come after them. So they going to get there. So I was like, oh, okay. I guess. Whatever. So while he was doing that, Marcus went to see Eric at his house. Eric is at the house. He told Marcus, give me your phone. Can they listen to this like that? Don't keep talking. Don't keep talking. Give me your phone. Let me put it somewhere else. He said, shh, shh, shh. Stop talking, man. Stop talking. Cause it could be, they could bug your phone. They could tap it. Because Eric is an IT tech. So he knows a lot about cybersecurity and holiday. And they could freaking bug places, the button, everything, and get you to talk and get information. So he said, no, don't shh. Let's go somewhere and we can pull in and we can talk. And they talk. Marcus think about turning himself in. Because he said that last time. He would turn himself in. To um, protect Vanessa. He don't want her going to jail. He want her to be taken down for it. So if he had to put himself in jail. To um, for. He would do that. And he would protect that. I said oh, That's so sweet. Right. But. But you won't do any good for her. Being in jail in the first place. So don't do that. Alright. But Eric said don't do that. The girls got a plan. They somewhere. They're going to find out who did it. And you just got to relax. So he said where they at. They said don't worry about it. They go, they're good. So basically, these are the place that people will never find them. And basically, it's that later house. There's that later house. Vanessa's there, hiding out. Nia came over there. While Nia was there, Terrence is out staking out the house. So he's there. The white detective, I'll still get his name. Black detective is calling him, asking him, is like, did you get anything? The information, find out information for me. If you let on, um, get information, let me know. If you get pinpoint Vanessa, something like that, and you get tabs on her. Call me, you get promoted and stuff like that. So, Tevin's trying to play in the field and trying to please him to get that, but also trying to protect Nia because he really likes Nia and stuff like that. So, he will do whatever he takes to do as much. So, then in the house, the only something MJ and Eric was talking because MJ was looking at the freaking the screen and the passes kept going on kept going on saying he know he did it so like that mj so worried that he said he was there and he gonna come after him so him and Eric were talking and mj said listen be the what you was what before be who you was before that nia loves it's like that you'd be good and stop be the devil down and stop frowning all the time and be happy smile do something you will get what you gotta do and you will get me at the end so stop it so after a while eric um you know, Eric got a pain because he told MJ that he bugged Sam's um, phone or something like that. She so could get it. So he said, damn, you all so stalking this guy. He's stalking it. He said, I got to do what I had to do. And all that stuff. He's trying to come at the knee. I had to stuff what I do. So because he bugged him, he got a good tip because he realized that Terrence was at over by later house. So because everything in that Terrence since he worked at the cops he probably tipped the cops off that he had laid a house and said Vanessa's there so and he know Nia's there so they gonna get him so he called Nia before that before I get to that Nia Vanessa and Layla's at the house with the bodyguard and um he tapped on um, padded Vanessa and uh, Nia down Nia said what are you really I'm trying to come in and so they got the phone Roxanne phone was caught or uh, was ringing, right? And they was like, oh my God. Vanessa recognized the freaking number. She was like, that's Jackie's number. And she said, it's a coincidence that you see Jackie at the gallery. She said, one time it's a coincidence, but the next time it's something else. So something's going on. So Nia tried to respond and she said, hey girl, or something like that. And 
girl, uh, later said, girl, Roxanne would never say, hey, girl. So little Jackie pinged it, and she realized that it's not Roxanne. He said, who is this? And they said, oh, look. And that's when Nia got the call. And Nia got the call for Terrence. No, Eric first. Eric said, get out the house. Get out the house. He said, what's going on? I think Terrence got somebody in the cops, and he tipped them off, and he got the house. You need to leave. So then she hugged, hold up to him. Terrence called. He said, yo, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. The cops is coming and all that stuff. And she said, what? What's going on? He said, go like that. How time I'm talking to have? Not much. They here. Because you hear the sound. It's going. I said, y'all better get the fuck out of there. Every call, every back. He said, I'll try to tell you. He said, Terry was trying to tell me that. Cause I said, I'll try to tell you that too. Get out. So they basically got out. Vanessa ended up going to the winery and hide out over there. Bryce, the one who had a, her, she had an affair with, was there. And he was helping her. Gave her food. And also gave her a pregnancy test. I said, oh, Vanessa, you pregnant. Because I know she was still messing, she was still having sex with uh, Marcus. And same time she had sex with Bryce. So, we don't know which one of the two is the baby daddy. Who will be the pregnant. But she took the pregnancy test. It's like that. And we find out later on she is pregnant. Or because she didn't want to start drinking. And um, Marcus trying to get her a drink. And she didn't drink. And he said, why are you not drinking? Nothing like that. And she said... And he gave that look. And we get the look. When you know you get the look and you with your partner for a while, they give you the look. She said, he said, what? Are you serious? She said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he said, a baby will be, make it, it, baby will good, be good for us and everything. And it'd be great. And he's so excited. He said, hope it is a boy. Or hope it's twins. And all that stuff. And then Bryce called her later on. And she was like, I said, I told you not to call me anymore. And he said, I will not bother you again. Just let me know, ask him, answer one question for me. She said, what's that? Is that baby mine? She said, well, everyone will know if the baby is yours. So we don't know if the baby is or not, but she would say everyone will know if the baby is yours. And I said, oh, shoot. Uh, I was like, oh, is it Bryce or is it Marcus? But she said, everyone will know if the baby is yours. I was like, everyone will know if the baby is yours. So I said, oh, my gosh. But that's to get it together, girl. You pregnant with him or not? It's like, oh, Marcus, because you were still having sex with Marcus. So, come on now. We don't know the timeline when you got, when you got pregnant. All right, so that was that. She was at the winery. Um, they were starting getting some moves about what's going on and um, timeline and stuff like that. <sighs> okay. So, we get Marcus to drop. He uh, Before Marcus dropped Deja off, Kareem came to Marcus' house. And Kareem basically told Marcus, like, listen, you've been my boy, you've been cool, but I need to sit my distance from you, and I need to get out of here. I need to leave. I need to leave. And he said, oh, my, Marcus said, come on, you my boy, I got you, all that stuff. He said, yeah, I understand, but I need to leave out of here. We have been good, all that stuff like that. I've been in your shadow for a long time, but I need to go and make my own life, start my own life. It's like that. Will you trade your spaces with me? I don't think so, so I got to make my life. So Marcus said, you know what, I understand, I agree. I'm cool, but I'm gonna give you some money. And Kareem said, "No, nah, nah. He said, "No, nah, I got you. I'm gonna give you some money and go buy in your account. You will be have the money." Basically, Marcus gave him two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like Kareem planned with that money is to pay, to pay off Jamal so Jamal could leave them alone and he could live his life. He don't have to worry about Jamal anymore. That's that. So he called Kwanisha to meet with him. So Jamal gave um. No, Kareem gave Jamal the money. It was only two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and then he came back and went some food, bag of food in the hand. And Kareem, she said, "Baby, what's going on? Why you gave him all that money? So like, we could use that money." He said, "No, I gotta pay him more. So he could leave us alone. We could start our own life. I don't want to have him in my life, hoping over me, get this get some conscious, pulling out of me, coming after me, Captain me. I want to live my life." And he, she said, oh, baby, you have to give him all that money. You could at least give him something. And said, you used to take something out of the money. It's like, you don't give him the whole $250,000. I was like, oh, Quenisha. So, he's in the car. And Queen wouldn't get this over with. He said, I gave you $250,000. He said, where's the extra $50,000? I said, you greedy ass. Take the $250,000. Come on, you only know $300,000. You fucking greedy ass old bastard. Take the $250,000 and get out of here. Sure, lucky you got all that, because I would have gave you a figure $100,000, and I'll take the other $150,000 for myself. Fuck it. Marcus gave me the money, not you. So, so he was like, uh, come on now. I told you. I 
I was like, oh, he's dying. So Kareem said, what the hell's going on? And he about to call police. Quinn just said, no, baby, come on, no, no, no. Don't do that, no, no. He's dying. He don't party anymore. Come on, baby. Please leave me. Here, she took the bag of money. I said, go ahead, Quinn. She better take that bag of money. Take that bag of money. I said, listen, leave him alone. Leave him here. He's dying. Nobody do anything to him. He got him a heart attack. It's a natural disorder. A disaster, natural cause. So he didn't get shot, he didn't get stabbed, he got a natural heart attack. So it won't be no crime, nothing, nobody see us here. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, baby, let's go, let's go, let's start a slide, let's go. So they ran out. I said, Oh, that's the last we see Kwanisha and Kareem. I like, so yeah, that's where they got the call. But the detectives realized at the time that they, when that stuff was at, um, Later house because Terrence was sitting out there and that's what Terrence then started calling Nia. So I got out. Now we have to remind me, right? Oh, before that, you no. Know, Marcus dropped Deja off at Jackie's and Dante's house and played date and everything, Jackie and all that stuff like that. They had the daughter and he said, Thank you for doing this for me. He said, No problem, boy, all that stuff. Mm. While the detectives were at the office, oh, at the house, looking for Layla and them, um, Vanessa, she was in there, and he, he got the call, and they said it's a vest made for Kalinda's um, murder. And he said, oh, Vanessa can't turn herself in? We got Vanessa? He said, no, Marcus King. So that was like, so everybody thinking they all happy, they closed the case, like, and the white detective said, no, 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 no. I don't think she did it. She didn't do it. He didn't do it. It's he didn't do it. It's like that. He, so the guy's like, well, she got pregnant all that long, gave her the money to get rid of the baby or something like that. And we be murdered. She said, yeah, but that's not enough to really kill her and stuff. So he's not convinced that Mark is the one who did it. All right? So for that, um, Vanessa met um, Yeah, no, I, I said that already. Vanessa met Bryce. All right. Nia and MJ was interviewing people, um, a guy for the camera online thing, and interviewing the guy, it was a white guy, he said, I have a lot, she, she realized he had a um, good standing and blogging and stuff like that, so it could be good for a brand to have him on board. He said, you're um, resourcing, he said, I would never re um, reveal my sources, stuff like that. And two, he saw the owner, um, Chris, um, Chris Kristen is like that. And he said, oh, you know my name. That's a good plus for you. And he said, oh, my God, this is a good source. He said, oh, yeah, I have a couple of sources. I have a Kardashians, Jay-Z, Beyonce, this and that. And then he said, um, Jackie, um, Jackie Hunter. And he, they was like, oh. So that's what I realized. He said, my MJ said, listen, Jackie may not be no killer, but she definitely a snitch. Remember, somebody was tipping off the police and everything about this stuff going on. And it was Jackie doing that shit. I was like, oh, okay. Now we find out more. Because Jackie was calling Roxanne's phone. And now we realize what the connection is, right? So, Ginger went to the freaking Ronomy. And Vanessa said, Ginger, what the hell are you doing here? And, oh, before that, Mia and MJ was talking about some different connections. Like, Vanessa had the motive, she had the mean, all that stuff, all that stuff. And then he said Jackie, and then he said Dante, his wife, all that stuff. He said, and MJ said, uh-uh, Dante is gay. And Nia said, oh, you really, how you know? He said, girl. Girl, I said, ooh, Dante is gay. So that's the secret behind now. All right, so then we jump back to the winery. And freaking Ginger spilled all the beans. Ginger was scared, punk bitch, drinking her wine or so. And she said, Ginger, what are you doing? Why you was at the player gallery? She said, Jackie was just checking out and stuff like that. And all that stuff. And basically, Ginger revealed that Jackie is the one who be funding Roxanne businesses. Jackie is the one who give Roxanne the girls to set up to set um for the husbands and whoever needed. So Jackie is the one who's like the madam. And Giving locks in the girls, approving the girls for locks in to locks in to book the girls to the events. So, um, Jack is responsible for setting them later with Marcus and all that craziness. I said, Oh shit, Jack is that. So, Jack is tipping and getting money, all that shit like that. And, um, 
Bryce met with Jackie because Vanessa, I guess she wanted to sign her wanting to be part her part of the thing and she wanted to sign, gave him the paper, so she signed this. And Jackie spilled all the tea. She knew a lot of things about Bryce. I said, like, Oh, y'all went to school together. Oh, y'all was I had the same major. Oh, this and that. Oh, y'all met in Wyoming. me. Oh, this and that. Oh, y'all was be close to friends and stuff. Oh, let me see that. I said, Oh shit, Jackie. Okay, Jackie's messy. She's doing um Jackie knows. All right. So Jackie met with Roxanne, and she, Jackie said, girl, I'm trying to call you. What's going on with your phone? She said, I lost my photos like that. He said, mm, oh, you lost it? She said, no, my phone got stolen. She said, oh, okay, good. She said, yeah, I got some girls for the next event. I can give it to you. Then let me show. She said, okay, fine. So the girl won. She said, okay, the next one. Fine. The next one. Did she get Botox? She said, no. Well, tell her she needs to get one. I said, damn, Jackie. And then it was some guy. I said, oh, you do guys too? And the box in, oh, this is for Dante. She said, okay, fine. Uh, so she said, oh, we can set one up for you. I know you need something like that. She said, oh, girl, I'm good. I'm good. So I said, oh, Jackie, girl, Jackie, Jackie. All right. So finally, um, during the time um, Ginger was spilling all the beans, Vanessa got a call. Because um, MJ gave Terrence a DNA evidence, some evidence. And he said, Nia cannot go down for us. If she go down, I go down. We can't have this done. And she said, okay, I got you. I'm good. Gave the evidence. Um, the lawyer called. Vanessa said, did you get DNA sample? She said, no, what's going on? He said, well, it's a match. And I don't know what to do with you now. She said, okay, good. I got myself. Good. So Vanessa went to go get her daughter. Went to get her daughter. Thinking Jackie had a daughter dressed up like her and trying to, she said, I'm trying to protect you, Vanessa. You was a violent girl. I'm trying to protect you. But come on. It's like this, like that. And she said, I know you did that. I know you were tipping everybody else. She said, well, business is money and I need that. And I said, like that. So all God's or any, all information is needed. It's fair trade to get the money. All that stuff. And she said, oh, give my daughter. I can kill you. I just, oh, the, such violence. You're so violent, girl. I can't. I can't with you. You're so violent. And she said, listen, I can shoot you. You're going to try to shoot me? See, I'm going to call the cops. The cops is going away and all that stuff. And you're going to go to jail because you did this all that stuff. Vanessa said, no, tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. You the one who did this. All that stuff. You had the DNA. The DNA matched you. Cops got in there. And so she said, put the gun down. Put the gun down, Vanessa. She said, you put the gun down. And he said, stop that. And basically, it got revealed. Jackie said, I did it to save you. You was gay. And she said, listen, you all doing this because your husband is gay. Because Ginger spit it out. She said, oh, nobody in the person know that. She said, forgive him for, for to, to stop Dante from trolling. She ended up setting her head up on girls for other people, for husbands. Because, you know, men would cheat. And she just set up girls to the men and everything. So that's what it's all about. That's how she started the business. So now she's to cover up this figure husband being um, gay and stuff. She did all that stuff to cover everything up. So she did it to protect the secret that he's gay. And I said, oh, because he's gay, you want to protect that secret? But I guess she did that because she was living a lie. She just living a lie. She did a profile thing, living the things, husband and wife who was not really into her. She's living this fake ass lifestyle. Doing this fake side hustles that she's doing, be like a madam hoe, and everything will blow up on her face and all that stuff. So she covered that up. And how we find out she covered it up? It went back to three years ago, three months ago, about what Kalinda happened. What ha really happened to Kalinda? So Kalinda went to the house, went upstairs, and saw Jackie. Jackie was talking, and she said, Oh, oh Kalinda Waters. Uh, she said, Jackie Hunter, oh, so you know me. And they was talking back and forth. And basically, the jacket was giving us. She said, "Oh, I'm gonna give you um, wine, but I know you're pregnant." She said, "How you know that?" She said, "Oh, I, I know a lot of things." And you were giving money to thing, uh, you were giving money to get rid of the baby, and you cannot have markets just like that. And I'm the madam, and you ain't supposed to do what I say. She said, "Girl, I ain't doing nothing like that." Oh, just like your husband. Oh, he don't want no side pocket, pocket. He want an ace in the hole. I said, oh shit. She said, oh, yeah, I know the gay. And what everybody gonna find out about your husband being gay? You living this fake ass lifestyle. Your husband gay. And you got this high side hustle. All that stuff. She said, what you gonna do about it? They fought. Fought. Jackie and Kalinda fought. To the point that Kalinda slid through the floor and ran down the steps. 
Not ran down the steps, slid down the steps, rolling down the steps, and she killed her, and she died. I guess too many falling down and she broke her neck or something like that, she died. And she called Dante, said, Dante, I need you, you need to help me, or something like that. And that's what it was. So the kings got cleared off all the charges. Freaking um Dante position of the team is in questioning. Jackie's in jail. Terrence got suspended for because he did some things that he ain't supposed to do and that was not right for his force and right not right for procedure because he was protecting. He said, oh, I don't know the Kings, but he know Nia. And so, you know, Nia is connected to the Kings. You messed up. So he got suspended. Um, Layla and that bodyguard, they, they introduced each other, uh, into each other. She said, I never had a guy who come on to me like that. I like a good friend. And he said, uh, to tell you the truth, I do like the attractive. If any opportunity would come and present itself, I will do something with you. And she said, I will do something with you too. So he asked her for a dinner date. And she said, cool, next day. I like, um, Terrence and Nia talk, Nia and the pick and Eric at the end. So that was that. Um, Nia and Eric was in the bed, fooled around, fooled around. They got the TV on. I don't know why they got the TV on when they were about to fool around. Find out she see the thing, the pastor saying some th information that's connected to Nia and that she's all worried. And that was that. That was game people play, y'all. This was the season finale. I don't know what they're going to do for next season if they come back next season. It seems like all this wrapped up as one, one season. So we'll see. I guess maybe we'll do, um, next season will show more of who is the baby daddy of Vanessa Baby. What going to happen? What the pastor going to do to Nia? And is she going to find her? Um, what what Kareem and Kalisha did with the money? What they did afterwards? And... What's the um, update on Dante? So, I don't know. If it comes to another season, maybe we'll see a whole new angle of the show. But that was Game People Play, y'all. I really enjoyed this season. I liked it so far. I loved it. And hopefully it will come back for another season. If not, it was a good first season, right? All right. So, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, tell me what you think. Share my videos. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.